my topic is complementary metal oxide semiconductor Complementary metal oxide semiconductor is a technology for construction constructing integrated circuits. Uh, sim CMOS technology is used in microprocessor, microcontroller, static RAM, and other digital logic circuits. Uh, it is also used for several anal analog circuits such as image sensor, uh, data converters, and highly integrated trans trans uh, trans uh, transceivers for many types of communications. Uh, CMOS is also sometimes referred to as a complementary symmetry metal oxide semiconductor or uh, cosmos uh, the word complementary symmetry is also referred uh, to the fact that the typical design style with cmos uh, uses complementary one symmetrical pair of p type and n type mosfet for logic functions uh, and the phrase a metal oxide semiconductor is a reference to the physical structure of certain fet having a, a metal gate electrode placed on top of an oxide insulator which is turned on uh, is on top of the semiconductor material. Uh, aluminum was once used, but now the material is polysilicon. Uh, other material uh, metal gates have made a uh, made a comeback with the advent of high K dielectric materials in the CMOS process, as announced by IBM and I Intel for the 45 nanometer node and beyond. The two important characteristics of CMOS device that we can say are high noise immunity and low static power consumption. Uh, since one transistor of the pair is always off, the series combination draws significant power only momentarily during switching between on and off states. Uh, consequently, CMOS devices do not produce as much as waste heat as other forms of logic. Uh, CMOS also allows a high density of logic function on a chip. It was primarily for the reason that CMOS became the most used technology to be implemented in VLSI chips. Uh, CMOS, uh, complementary metal, uh, metal oxide semiconductor devices are chips in which both P channel and uh, N channel uh, enhancement MOSFET are connected in push pull arrangement. The basic connection uh, for CMOS are shown in figure. Uh, in this circuit, two MOSFETs, P channel MOSFET and N channel MOSFET, are connected in series so that the source of p channel uh, devices is connected to a positive voltage supply vdd and the source of n channel device is connected to the ground uh, gates of both the devices are connected together as a uh, common input and drain terminals of both the devices uh, and connected together as a common output uh, when the input is low uh, scap low that, I that is at uh, zero volt then the gate mosfet t is at negative uh, potential with respect to source S1. So uh, MOSFET T1 will be on with R on is equals to 1 kilo ohm. Uh, uh, one kilo ohm. Gate of MOSFET T2 will be at 0 volt relative to the source. So T2 will be off with its resistance RS off is equals to 10 to the power 10 ohm. Uh, both of these resistance act like a potential divider and output of this will be approx uh, VDD uh, plus VDD volts. In other case, when the input is kept high level, that is uh, plus VDD volt then the gate of MOSFET T1 is at the zero potential relative to the source so T1 will be off with resistance R of is equals to 10 to the power 10 ohm while gate of MOSFET T2 will be at positive potential relative to its source so, uh, so the MOSFET T2 will be on with its resistance R on is equals to 1 kilo ohm in this case output will be approx 0 volt except for a short time on the voltage drop for from plus VDD uh, to 0 or rise from 0 plus to uh, 0 to uh, plus VDD the series combination of P channel MOSFET or PMOS and N channel MOS MOSFET has one transistor of which no current then draw from the power supply thus the CMOS circuit operates with input either high or low uh, while drawing no power from the supply except during the brief time while, s uh, while switching between high and low output levels. When both transistors are on, as in turning on, and the other is turning off, in fact the power consumption of CMOS circuit is zero at DC condition, increasing as the applied signal frequency increases since the circuit is switching more often. Uh, uh, this is the input and output uh, voltage uh, characteristics. Uh, the advantage of uh, CMOS. The main advantage of CMOS is that the power distribution is very small, typically 50 nano watt. Uh, it has low current drain, it also has a high fan out, it has a good noise immunity. And the disadvantages are slow switching speed and it can be easily destroyed by static electricity. 
logic uh, logic <coughs> more complex logic functions such that uh, uh, those involving and and or gates require manipulating the path between gates to represent between gates to represent uh, the logic when a path consists of two transistor in series both transistor must must have must have low resistance uh, to the corresponding supply voltage modeling an end when a path consists of two transistors in parallel either one or both of the transistor must must have low resistance to connect the supply voltage to the output modeling an or if both of the a and of, of the a and b inputs are high then both the nmos transistor will conduct neither of the pmos transistor will conduct uh, and a conducting path will be established between the output and the vc vss ground bringing uh, output uh, low if both of a and b inputs are low then neither of the nmos uh, transistor will conduct while both of the pmos transi transistor will uh, will conduct uh, establishing a conducting path between output and vdd uh, there is the voltage source bringing output uh, high if either of the a or b is low one of the nmos will not conduct one of the pmos will and the conducting path will be established between the output and the vdd bringing the output high as only config as only con uh, the configuration of two inputs that results in a low output is when both are high this circuit implements a nand not uh, nand that is uh, not an and logic gate uh, thus we can conclude that cmos has many advantage an advantage of cmos over nmos is that both low to high and high to low output transistor are fast since the pool of transistor have low resistance when switched on uh, unlike the low resistors in nmos logic uh, it also says that the output signal swings the full voltage between the low and high rails this strong more nearly symmetric response also makes cmos more resistance to noise